Powell River's world-renowned Cathamu Coral Festival competition has a uniquely West Coast first prize, a totem carved by local artist Craig Gallagos. It's a six and a half foot uh, red cedar log and it turned into a totem pole. The top part is a eagle with its wings spread out with a sun in the middle. Um, and that's, the, the, the eagle kind of represents, um, it's, uh, like a, it's a powerful creature and it, so it kind of represents power and, and freedom with its wings spread out and stuff like that. So, and the bottom half is a beaver and, uh, and the beaver I thought just, be, and it's holding a stick with its incisor teeth and, the, and this is the, t the tail, the cross hashing tail. And, um, and I just thought a uh, beaver because it's a national symbol of, of Canada as well, so kind of a, a, a dual meaning to it. So that was kind of my thought on that. And then it has copper in the eyes of the, of the both figures. And um, basically copper is a symbol of wealth in the First Nations community. So that's why I put those on there. You just try to think of what the people in the past used to do and stuff like that. So just trying to basically, uh, trying to bring the past back into the future and revive our culture because um, within Slam and our culture was kind of, it was dying, so to say, a little bit. So trying to, just basically trying to revive the culture of, of the First Nations people in Slam and then by doing stuff like this and having it exposed and stuff like that gives, uh, it, it gives other youth in, in our community, um, you know, maybe you, they'll, they'll see it and maybe they'll want to do that and just trying to keep the culture um, going. Kathamu has been a success story to the nth degree in our community and uh, it started out as one of four or five world-class adjudicated uh, coral events and uh, you know in our community we're proud of our Coast Salish culture and our, our, uh, our neighbours and, and neighbouring government and friends and partners and um, I just had this idea and I said what if we uh, up the ante and our first prize instead of being you know a regular plaque you know was a totem pole it would really be something worth uh, competing for especially given our uh, reputation in the game this just brings it up and whoever wins will deliver it to them a very special procession will be traveling to Europe to present the totem to the winning youth choir at the Saint Stanislav Music Academy in Slovenia it's a festival that occurs every two years and, uh, and every couple of years we have completely different choirs and applicants that come to the festival. It's a choral competition, so choirs come here to win in different categories and ultimately win the, the prize of choir, choir of the world. This totem pole is uh, a symbol of our festival and it fits the mandate of our, our festival so well because the First Nations portion or part of, of our festival um, is so incredibly important. And I think it's an important reason why choirs come from different parts of the world to Powell River to take in Kathamu is because they want to see firsthand that, that cultural side of, 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 um, of Canada and, and of the west coast of Canada. I'm proud as mayor of uh, Kathamu and, and, and that whole uh, experience it gives our community. You know, people have met here, fell in love here moved here, you know, uh, it's just, it's just, it serves us in so many ways. As I always say, the hills are alive in Powell River. And uh, it's all about the music. For more information, visit www.cathemu.org. From Powell River, I'm John McKenzie.